Okay, so this is my sh oh, farm design. I don't use it for the sensors or the shriekers. I'm sure you could probably modify it for that. You might have to slow down the cracks a little bit, although they're waterlogged already. I wasn't worried about getting those. Uh, anyway, Enderman Farm up top. Actually, a double Enderman Farm. Double layered double Enderman Farm. Very nice. Two Endermites. They run down. Yada, yada, yada. Um, uh, they're landing on spikes. Or they're not. I don't know why I took the spikes out. I don't know. thought I had spikes in there, but I do not. Um... Well, it's two different layers, too. Weird. The pearls stay in here till they bounce around and hit the lava. Uh, we've got a double stone generator here. It'll do two stone, two layers of stone at the same time. This is taken directly from El Mango's Moss Farm. And um, there are actually two different versions here. Just trying to trying around with a few things. It seems that. These are more powerful than I thought. I put four of them over here. You only need two of them to get the stone converted. Um, the water was here to help flush items into the center. Either way works fine, it looks like. Let me just demonstrate right quick. So you can see it's very fast. We're getting four pushes on the stone every two or three ticks, you know, every two or three seconds. And all the items fall straight into water streams and they go, you know, up into an elevator, yeah, over here, up into the storage, my slow elevator, which is fine, over into storage, so the ender pearls you never have to mess with, they drop into lava, um, you do need stairs pointed, I don't know if you want to say, the empty side is towards the farm, and the flat side is towards the chamber here, if you don't do this, you'll get the Skulk vein growing all the way up in here, and it will fill this air gap right here, and the water won't be able to flow anymore. The water doesn't destroy Skulk vein, and neither will the lava. It's like impermeable to both of them. The water will be stuck in the stairs, the lava will be stuck up there. You won't be making any more stone unless you use stairs, is what I found that work to keep the Skulk on this side of the farm and not kill on this side of the farm. Very important. This, this farm broke several times until I found out the stairs. You just basically wrap the whole farm with stairs pointing with the flat side towards the uh, generator. That was the one thing that took a long time to figure out. Um, for some reason, when I built this identical on both sides, the left side didn't keep up with the conversion. So that's why it's a little bit different now. Uh, just trying to get. It, it didn't make any sense to me. Now the right side is having a have a time. So I'm sure if you took the chains off the top here, you would get all your sensors and whatnot, and then you might be able to mine those as well. I didn't really care about those too much, so I left it. So this this side has two uh, catalysts, and that handles the Enderman just fine. I don't know if you can see them or not. They disappear when they die the mod that I have. And their ender pearls, you know, like I said, bounce around till they fall in the lava. Um, there's one on-off switch for the whole deal. Jump out of the... Oh, I'm breaking everything. Excuse me. Get out of here this way. There that. There's one on-off switch that turns the generator on. This is the actual on-off lever here. This, if you power... Leave this torch powered, it stops this clock. And that lever also turns on the powered rails to get them moving. A big problem. Jump in, and you just go to town. Oh, yeah, it's making it very fast. 